I'm Amy Hutchinson, and this is the enrichment letter that we sent to 100 people. Dear friends, for some time, many of us in the local food community have had exciting and frustrating conversations about capital formation. The question is always how to build a capital fund to support people in our community who have ideas, skills, and possibilities, but who lack the resources to pursue that vision. In a recent conversation on this topic, we came up with a new approach. We want to invite a network of small contributors to the table to provide financial assistance to capable individuals who need to use and improve their skills for the good of local food. We are calling this small-scale approach to nourishing our community Venture Philanthropy. To this end, we are forming the Village Table $100 Club. We created a list of friends and colleagues who we hope will share our vision. You are obviously on the list. When we identify an individual in need of capital for a specific purpose related to their expertise and experience, we will have a Village Table Dinner. The cost will be $100 and a bottle of wine, or a six pack of beer. <laughs> Um, an attending spouse or partner will cost an additional $25. A funding presentation will be made at the dinner and an amount pledged to that person of interest. Any dollars collected but not spent will stay in a dedicated checking account to increase our future spending options. We will limit our dinners to two a year. Those who receive Village Table support have no obligation to succeed. However, they do have an obligation to host, with our help, an informational gathering to show, taste, describe their experiences. For example, if we send someone off to learn about cheese making, that person would come back to us to share what he or she had learned. The intention is to grow our collective knowledge about food in this community, thus building a greater, giving us greater insight into how we can best support efforts by ourselves and others to build our local food supply. We are inviting you to the table. We want guests to enjoy themselves, to feel a part of the community, and to return again and again. So music and finding ways for people to participate is key. The last village table, a picnic in a neighboring park, people took turns drinking ice cream, and we invited guests to bring a favorite condiment. In 2010, the village table raised $5,000 and assisted five farmers and producers. We'll have two dinners in 2011, there was one in June, and there'll be another in September. Also, people donate without attending. The first, the first village table recipient, Casey O'Leary, wanted to learn more about seat saving. So the village table centered at the Seat Saver Exchange's annual conference in Iowa to learn more. These people know of seed saving. Since Casey's return, she has led several seed saving workshops, helped organize two citywide seed swaps, and launched a local line of her own seeds. Village Table has also purchased a printer to make plant steaks from vegetable starts. Before Elaine Rain could print them, area growers had to order their steaks from an out of state supplier, so the money left the local economy. Now, in addition to that money staying in Idaho, Elaine's printing business can also supplement her on-farm income during the winter months. Homegrown Poultry's new cryovac machine extends the local food supply into the winter months by freezing poultry and other foods better and longer. This is a boon to restaurant chefs and home cooks who want to cook with locally raised birds throughout the year. Lori is a small CSA farmer. She delivers her customer shares by bike. When her bike was stolen, the village table purchased a new bike for her. The purchase was one Lori could ill afford to make herself. In this case, Village Table provided a form of community insurance. And here's Beth, in her newly remodeled barn, permit in hand, which allows her to sell her Canyon Bounty Farm whole wheat flour to local bakeries, like Café de Paris and Zeppeli. You really must try Zeppeli's hamburger buns. Really. Recipients present about their projects at the next Village Table. This gives guests an opportunity to learn more about the infrastructure needed to build and support a local food system. It is also another opportunity to connect producer with consumer. The number of guests between 20, ranges between 25 and 50. We really must keep things manageable for the all volunteers, crew, servers, and cooks. It's not been difficult at all to keep and find good volunteers. People really do want to help. And now for the big question. How do we determine the recipient? And the answer is simple. Ultimately, Susan and I decide. We are the deciders. There's no time for direct democracy. But we do listen to suggestions, we keep our ears to the ground, and we are transparent. We always communicate how the money is spent, down to the last dollar. And if guests return, we are satisfied that they are satisfied. The next village table is at Hidden Springs Farm on September 30th. You are all invited. So get behind your farmers and get to the table.